Hello, Monsters Abound here and welcome to part 2 of my Malekith campaign for Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires. Yeah, so here we are in Nagarond where everyone is really, really grumpy. Holy, I mean we've got provincial instability, taxes, corruption, slaves and difficulty level. Adding up to a change per turn of my public order of minus 26. How the hell am I supposed to deal with that? Ugh, uh, okay, so... Other problem is we've got Skaven and Chaos Corruption. And I'm not... A Chaos Corruption... I, I need to... Wait, these guys don't have Chaos Corruption. They're untainted. So where's the Chaos Corruption coming from? Characters, buildings, and commandments. Okay, so, wait, are these Chaos Worshippers? Are these guys Chaos Worshippers? Uh... Don't think either of these ruins that I can see have a. Uh, is that a. That could be a. That could be a chaos totem thingy. That could be what's causing it, potentially. So maybe that's where that's coming from. So I'm going to have to deal with that. However, public order being so bad, how the hell do I leave Nagarond? I guess. We are displeased. Uh, I mean, I could. I could recruit another Dreadlord, but that would basically be all my money, so maybe that's not a good idea. Uh, what I will do is I'll put myself in Channeling Stance to give myself some more replenishment, because uh, Hagreen does does desperately need it. She uh, tends to blow herself up a lot, and uh, I know that to be a strong, independent Dark Elf woman, you need to be wearing very little. But uh, Hagreen, can I suggest that what you wear, you make out of fire-resistant materials, just for your own sake. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna get another unit of dread spears. I just I think I just I need a slightly bigger army. Not huge, just slightly bigger. That should that should help. Okay, so we've got a rebellion coming. That's fine. And turn. We've also got to deal with the Skaven, as the rebellion, uh, who are hiding in the ruins to our west. So that's something to deal with. I've given them a few turns to build up, so now they've got about five armies by now. Probably outnumbered me about 10 to 1. Okay, so the rebellion is there. Uh, Raiding by Rov Arun. And they've got a mission issued to raise or sack Kargoth Deep. Well, we're not going to do that. Okay, so Malekith are going to go after this Dark Elf Rebel Army over here. Uh, that should be a fairly easy battle, so let's just wipe them out. There we go. Let's get the replenishment and slaves. So we've got the sacrifice to Cain right unlocked. That's good. Malekith has got a skill point, which we're going to pop into. We've got two skill points. Um, Blade Wind might be nice. I'm going to go for Blade. I'm going to upgrade uh, upgrade his melee attack again. Uh, Hagreen has got uh, the Burning Head, which will be very useful against big masses of units. So I think Blade Wind is kind of surplus to requirements at this moment. So I think it's probably better to get the melee attack. Okay, with Nagrond, still really unhappy, but uh, better than it was. At least it won't rebel for a few turns. So let's get the uh, Dark Hold there, and we'll upgrade to the Marble Quarry. Okay, so we've got four Dread Spears. We can't recruit any more. Let's put ourselves in uh, that stance to get some more replenishment. Just a little bit, and I think we'll head to the Altar of Darkness yet, although I suspect it's a Skaven Stronghold. So that that could be problematic.
So we've got War Declared, Clark Harond, and Man Blight Tribe. And Agol and Harganeth. Fair enough. And Green has got a new skill point. I'm going to. I could go for Burning Head. I quite like Kakati's oh, Blessing. Um, I'm going to go for Burning Head just because I think if we're up against Skaven, the Burning Head is going to do horrendous damage to them if we can get it on target. So we're going to do that. Let's move into Har Kaldra just for the moment. Uh, to try and, I mean, that will stop public order declining any further, which is good, I guess. And uh, otherwise, I think, I think that's it. surplus in the Iron Mountain, so that should that should help. If we can upgrade Nagrond, we should be able to get more public order, which might... Oh my god, even with... Unbelievable. Uh, okay, well, at least it's not going to rebel next turn. Uh, could we... Okay, so they've got a big Skaven army there. Could we... We could potentially try to ambush them. Uh, if, we go if we go there, then we don't have enough. Alright, let's, let's go for Winds of Magic then. We'll see if we can lure them out. They might want to attack us if they think they've got the uh, numerical superiority, but obviously we're Dark Elves, so we can kill them uh, at least five to one, I reckon. Let's see if we can get a trade agreement with Wello. They're coming. Oh, they're coming for me. They are. Okay. Shoot, they're ambushing me. That's not good. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just have to do our best to kill them all. Uh oh. We're under attack. So Skaven have positioned themselves in a big long line all the way along here. I'm going to pull up a hasty sort of defensive line with my Dread Spears and Black Guard in the front. And of course Hagreen and Malekith there and our Dread Spears, uh, not Dread Spears, Dread Shard, sorry, in the rear. However, my, my poor Bolt Throwers are a bit out of position here. Sending the Chariots in to try and uh, run some interference. They're going to do a, you know, a fairly good job, apart from getting stuck on the trees. However, we do have a lot of units flanking us, and I don't have time to get them. I, I can't pull any units out of this position, because we're being flanked here as well. I'm, try, I'm going to try and pull some spears out, but then I decide, you know what? I'm going to have to ditch the bolt thrower. So, uh, the crew ditch the bolt thrower and leg it. The bolt thrower is too valuable to lose, so uh, we're going to leave it behind for this battle. These Gaven Slaves hitting our line here. Some units hit. They seem to be trying to flank us around the our left flank. The Black Guard are going to stand firm. Our chariot is uh, just sort of running around, running things over, as per usual. Doing, you know, not, not bad, I guess. Not bad. The Black Guard. Oh, there goes a Chill Wind, knocking some Skaven down. Blackguard, as ever, fantastic defensive units. Just carving up those Skaven. Getting some assistance from the 
What are they called? Dread Dark Shards? That's it. I can't remember. It's Bleak, Dark and Shard. It's difficult to remember which one's which. Chariots have uh, hit this Skaven unit on my right flank in the rear and have basically broken them. However, they are getting reinforcements. More Skaven slaves coming in, but they ver veer away at the last second. Looks like they're trying to exploit this line in my uh, this hole in my line. However, I am moving some spears in to try and intercept Malekith and Hagreen. Uh, in the middle there, and there's Septic, their warlord. Sporting some rather fancy orange armor there. We've sort of drawn up sort of a, a line here on our left flank to push back the scape. We've got a lot of spears and clan rats are trying to uh, break through. However, some units have broken off onto the right flank as well, so we're sort of like that the centre is fairly clear now. But we do have units uh, to our left and our right, so we're sort of moving our line. We're defending the, the, the dread dark shards in the centre, and we're pulling our spearmen to, uh, into a line either side. We've got our repeater bolt thrower crew. They're not doing an awful lot, but uh, they can't really do much. Hag Green is defending the right flank. Malekith on the left, and our chariot have been uh, just running around, taking out any sort of units that are away from the main bulk of the Skaven force so they don't get tied down. Going to pull into a line formation here. Malekith giving his, his units time to just pull back to a nice formation. There seem to be a lot of clan rats here now. Looks like all the ones that retreated retreated over to the left have now come back to try and assault our new line. Malekith up to 306 kills. Again, they're coming around on the flank, but we're going to hold. It might get around a little bit, but uh, it's, it's probably okay. The Skaven reinforcements are approaching through the forest here. That's something to be careful of. Our chariot is uh, going to spot them any second now. I'm just going to run through these Skaven slaves. If we can finish off these uh, last few drips and drabs over on this flank, then we should be able to pull our forces back to deal with the reinforcements. Reinforcements are now approaching the bulk of them still in the forest there, but there are a few approaching our line now. Chariot is up to 141 kills, continuing to do pretty good work. We only have a couple of units of spears here, but we do have three units of dread shards, dark shards even. Ugh, I never get that right. I'm just going to call them crossbowmen from now on. So even approaching the line and dying by their hundreds. Huge numbers there now. I'm going to drop a burning head. That's going to do some considerable damage to these reinforcements coming through the forest. It's leaving a massive trail of destruction. Just mulching them. That, uh, that killed a fair chunk. How many kills did you get? 152 from that. I think she started off with about 15. So uh, the Chariots are charging in again, but one has got stuck. I'm trying to get it free, but the AI seems to have no problem with their chariots. They just seem to like run through your units without ever getting stuck. As soon as I try it, look at that. I'm trying to get it through, but it's just not working. Unfortunately, that chill wind hit that errant chariot, and they're now out of control, which means I can no longer... Well, I mean, they're doing pretty good work anyway. Probably better work than I could do, to be honest. So the units to the rear have been finished off. They do still have their warlord there. Malak is going to spot him and go after him now. Look at that. Just like, ah, oh, fine. I'll deal with this. You lot deal with that. I'll deal with this guy. 
So now all our units can move to this flank and defend it. Which is going to be great. However, the chariot is looking in a little bit of danger. I might still get rid of the chariot. I uh, just can't use a damn thing. I think we've got this in the bag now. Basically, the, the Skaven are just throwing themselves at our line and dying. I'm going to throw in another burning head here, and that's going to uh, that's going to free up the the chariots anyway. And uh, guys, I'd move. Uh, oh, I think I think that dread spear got a little bit singed, but I think he's okay. And uh, with that, how many kills do you get? You're up to 218, Hagreen, with two burning heads. So uh, that's pretty good. And with that, the Skaven forces have had enough. And they're retreating. You do have to love killing the Vermintide. Uh, let's take the replenishment. Because that'll be good. And more slaves, although that's going to wreck our public order, of course. And we've got a spell shield. And this shield is branded with wards of arcane protection. It has many owners in its storied past. And plus 5 belly defense and plus 15 magic resistance. Okay, so we've got the Circlet of Iron quest issued. So we need to capture 500 battle, battle captives. That should be fairly easy. The Great Vortex falters. It is vulnerable. And the Witch King seeks to take advantage to enter and channel its energies to wrest the power of chaos from the gods themselves. For Malak to do this, he must imbue the Circle of Divine, an ancient band older than the elves with unholy crux. While Malekith knows that a crux is needed before he can enter the Vortex, frustratingly he lacks knowledge of his arcane boon's location. He must consult an oracle kept by the sorceresses and their services do not come cheap, even if you are the Witch King. So there we go, and Malakith has levelled up. And we, yeah, so the Circle of Vine, if we can get that, I'll give a... Circle of Vine is said to be older than the Elven race, is a potent source of arcane powers. That's magic item drop chance, plus 5%. Winds of magic power reserve, plus 10. Armour, plus 5. Untainted, plus 5 for local province. Winds of magic, minus 2 for power of darkness, and plus 2 uses for the power of darkness, and a passive ability that increases uh, miscast chance by 50% map-wide. Holy crap. That's pretty amazing. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to actually give you an ability, didn't I? Oopsie. Right, let's go for... Um... Maybe Word of Pain. Maybe Melee Defense. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Word of Pain. Going to do that. Okay, there's still a lot of Skaven left alive, but significantly less than there was. So I think we can probably wipe these two armies out and potentially put a stop to... Uh, to the Skaven. How many... Can we see... I guess we can't see how many settlements they have. It says, they, oh, it says they've got two, which I suggest is probably Rock, Do Gorge, and the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. So we can take out this army. We should be able to move south. I'm okay, we're going to get a rebellion next turn, but... So we're going to have to move fast. Let's stay in channeling stance. It's going to give us some minus leadership, but I don't think we're going to need it. Okay, let's hit these guys. Okay, so they are bringing reinforcements, but they're a bit beat up, and uh, we're at full strength, so this should be fairly easy. Here we are, the Altar of Eternal Darkness. Not that dark, it's fine. Uh, so we've got some ragtag Skaven units approaching from either side. We've pulled up into a defensive position towards their reinforcements, but it's kind of put us sort of equal distance between the two, which means they're probably going to hit us around the same time, which is a bit of a problem. However, uh, while they're approaching, we will of course be uh, 
killing as many as possible. There's their warlord there. I think that's septic and the other one's boiler rid. As much damage as possible. How much the, how many kills the bolt throw got? Seven. That's not too bad. I mean there are 2,586 enemies, so you're probably going to have to kill a few more than that. Crossbows are coming in, and that's going to... I mean, the crossbows always do horrendous damage to these unshielded Skaven, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much melted an entire unit. They are Skaven slaves as well, so... Uh, they don't even have any armor. Not that I think that really helps because, uh, of course, the the crossbows are armor piercing anyway. So, yeah, I mean, these clan rats are fa faring no better. We've pulled um, our some of our spearmen off the front line. This has left us slightly light on the old uh, on, the, on the old sort of like trying to defend our poor crossbows in the center and our uh, bolt thrower. So we've got two units to deal with the reinforcements heading in. And uh, three units to deal with the uh, sort of well, the, sort of the main force. And th these reinforcements coming. We've got three units, including the Black Guard, and of course Malekith and uh, Hagreen. We've also got the crossbow, uh, not crossbows, the chariots over here. So the, the Skaven, these clan rats over here, immediately break and run. Malekith and the Skaven warlord go at it, and the Black Guard move in to assist. In comes the chariots to help as well. That did uh, a fair chunk of damage and broke that unit almost immediately. The spears over here are utterly surrounded with sheer weight of numbers. And I've drawn out these spears into a very thin line. I've managed to pull another unit of spears off the front. But there's now a huge number of uh, Skaven and a very, very thin black and gold line. However, the reinforcement army is pretty much broken and running. And there goes a burning head. How much damage can we do with a burning head? I mean, that's a lot of Skaven kill. Unfortunately, it goes straight over the uh, the poor Dread Spears as well. But um, leaves quite the trail of blood corpses and, well, burnt corpses behind. How many kills did you get, Hagreen? Uh, 326. Jeez. There goes a chill wind as well. It's lovely when these units sort of like really kind of like blob up. It makes it really satisfying. In comes a chariot to assist. And uh, the I mean the Skaven main force here have, have basically had enough already. The chariot's going to chase down a few. We do of course have the crossbows now positioned to deal with any uh, Skaven that have rallied and are coming back. Uh, but they don't even have the bravery to charge the main line. They basically just break and run before they before they reach the spears. The last few units just breaking and running and uh, we will pick off as many as possible with our chariot although they're not a particularly good uh, pursuit unit well that's just whittling away at their numbers and that will give us um, more replenishment more slaves more public order troubles but it's not like uh, we don't have them already anyway so may as well you know in for a penny in for a pound uh, Malak is an exterminator, escaping a disease, a cancer on this world. You are the plague. Uh, you are you are a plague. We are the cure. Okay, that, that kind of makes sense. Uh, Boiled Rin is dead. Uh, we've got a scarecrow banner, which is garbage. Good. Uh, can we hit the altar of darkness? Yes, we. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let's just hit this army first. Yes, we spotted Skaven. I know. Uh, oh, I just thought it was off. Chariot always seems to do far better in auto resolve than I do. Uh, yeah, take that. We've got another scroll of shielding, and uh, we will capture. Take the city, and we will just occupy it. Public order is, yeah, bad. I think I might need to get torture posts in all my settlements just to try and get some control over the public order. So we've only got 10 for next turn. Uh, yeah, see that's still dropping. 
Which is bad. Oh, well, Malekith has got a skill point. We put, could put him on a cold one, but they do go out of control. That's, that could be risky. Uh, eternal Hatred would be good. Sadistic would be good. Let's... Uh, Alright, let's give him a cold one. And let's make him sadistic. There we go. And Hagreen, you can have Hakati's Blessing, which would be good. And... I mean, a weakness to fire when using fire spells is going to be very useful. So let's go for you, uh, Kindle Flame. And otherwise, I think I'm fairly... I think what I'll do is I'll get a Lord here. Uh... That could be useful. Do not vex us further. It's the fighting pits, but it's the building browser. Uh, yeah, so the Shrine of Cain increases untainted and increases public order in adjacent provinces, which could be very useful. And we could then use uh, Narin, uh, Narin as sort of like a garrison and commander. So maybe that's what we need to do with him. So let's get Narin. And he'll pop him in Nagrond. And I won't give him any units just because we can't sodding afford any at the moment. But Malekith, you can have... Let's get you some... Let's get you a bleak sword. Get a bleak sword. And then next time we can hit Rakdu Gorge. Well, no, probably we'll have to rush back to Nagrond to try and uh, fend off the rebel army that will no doubt spawn because of our public order. But that'll have to be next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.